Hello from Budapest, Hungary. I am standing in front of probably what is the most recognizable building in all of Budapest. If you've ever gone online and you've searched Budapest and you've looked at the pictures, without any doubt, this is the building that you're probably going to see. And this is the Parliament building. And I'm going to take you for a nice walk. I'm on the front of the Parliament building, but what I want to share with you tonight is on the other side, and that is the Danube. So I'm going to take you for a walk along the Danube, and we're going to go from where the Parliament is down to the Chain Bridge. So as we do, I'm just going to kind of share some thoughts with you. It's been a while since I've been here to uh, to Budapest, and I'm I'm using a uh, I'm using what's called a Zion crane, and this is a uh, a device that I wish that I had had some years ago because I can just walk and it'll give me a uh, it'll give me a nice view without any any shaking so right now I'm just walking along at a really nice pace whereas before when I would do videos such as this I would have to walk really slowly you know to minimize the the camera shakes but with this I can just kind of walk along and uh, take the camera with me and I could even run along if I wanted to. This is a uh, Zion Crane gimbal and that's what I'm using and I think you would spell that Z-H-I-Y-U-N Crane, C-R-A-N-E. So anyway this uh, video is not as much about the Zion Crane as it is about this beautiful place that I find myself in. This is my first full day of what's going to be about a three-week visit to Budapest and uh, for those of you that have followed me over the years you know that I actually lived in Budapest for the better part of three years and uh, three of the best years of my life I would have to say so I used to come down here quite a bit as a matter of fact I used to rent an apartment or as a lakash as they call them here in Budapest. So it's a beautiful, beautiful summer night. Today is June, uh, June 10th as I take this video. And the summer humidity hasn't really set in here in, in Budapest. It's just a very, very nice evening. Really, really nice. And I can just kind of walk along with this uh, this video camera here and just give you a nice a nice shot without any camera interruption or shaking at all it really is fantastic there's another shot of, of the dome you know interestingly enough when I was uh, First living here in Budapest, I was doing what were uh, at the time the, the latest thing, and those were 360 degree panoramas, and you would come in with a tripod and a and a fisheye lens, and you would take the uh, take the camera and put it in a on the tripod, and you had a apparatus or a device that would attach to the top of the tripod and you would take anywhere from 16 to 32 uh, shots in a uh, in a perfect circle and then you would have some software that would stitch those pictures together but uh, then vi the uh, the video uh, video came on the scene and here you have the ability to just kind of give you a really incredible incredible view so I am on the first day of a uh, well I don't know how many day trip I'm just gonna is it uh, play it by ear or play it by year or something like that just gonna kind of casually travel along you see some ladies there taking a nice uh, selfie in front of the in front of the Parliament building when I was uh, when I was living here, I actually uh, had the opportunity to gain access. Hello. I actually had the opportunity to gain access to the parliament. I had a private uh, private opportunity to go in and, and film the, uh, the parliament. I can't remember 
who at that time actually made the arrangements for me to do that, but uh, nonetheless, give you a nice view up. I am really, really anxious to see how this video is gonna gonna turn out. And here is the uh, here is the beautiful Duna, the Danube. This uh, river, if I'm not mistaken, has more more capitals, more countries' capitals on it than any other uh, any other river in the world. I don't know that I could name them all, but I think there's uh, there's Budapest, of course, and then there's Vienna. And I think there is, uh, is it Bratislava, I think? But, uh, and I think Bucharest and what have you going down to the Black Sea. So I'm gonna find my way down to the, down to the river. I must say that, uh, you know, I, I absolutely love, love Budapest. It is uh, probably one of my one of my favorite destinations, and I've been asked uh, many times if I actually speak the speak the language, and uh, I always say "kichi uh, kichi majorozag," which means uh, just a little bit. Uh, well, I don't know if you would say uh, "majorozag." I think is. <laughs> Is the uh, is the word Hungary itself? So I don't know what the uh, Hungarian word is for Hungarian, but uh, somebody out there watching this video maybe can shed some light on that. So I found my way down to the to the Duna, and you can see there's uh, never a shortage of cruise ships. And, Sightseeing ships going along the going along the river here. One of the uh, one of the visits when I was here in in Budapest, I actually had a had an apartment for two weeks right on the right on the river, and that was uh, really really fantastic. Uh, certainly getting a lot of a lot of stares as I walk along with this. Zion Crane. People aren't uh, quite sure what uh, what it is. It's almost like having a uh, it's almost like having a drone in your hands. It gives you that uh, that ability. I can just do nice pans just like this and come along. And that is the uh, that is the chain bridge right over there. And just on the other side of the chain bridge, up on the hill, is the castle. And uh, over there is the fisherman's, I think it's the fisherman's bastion. I think, uh, I'm terrible at some of these pronunciations of names. Matthias, uh, the Matthias Church. But you can see, interestingly enough, the uh, I forgot to mention that most of the time that I lived here, they were restoring the front of the, I don't know if the word is restoring as much as just cleaning the front of the parliament building. And uh, it always had scaffolding all over the, all over the top. So they didn't, uh, they finished that uh, two or three years ago. Now here's an interesting display right here. These are uh, shoes, and if I know the Zion crane correctly, I think that I can turn it like this and just kind of walk along.
All right. So what I just did there was I actually inverted the Zion crane, and I could be mistaken, but I believe those shoes along the river are a uh, memorial of sort. It really is a beautiful, beautiful night. I can remember the very first time that I came to Budapest, I sat on the banks of the Danube, just up over on the other side of the chain bridge. And I was, was a full moon coming up over the, over the castle, over there on the other side of the river. That's Buda, by the way, over there. And I'm walking along on Pest. So Buda and Pest used to be two separate cities. And at some point in time, they combined the two cities to make Budapest. But the uh, very first time that I came to Budapest, I found myself sitting on the Danube just up ahead. And it was a full moon, and the moon was just coming up over the, over the castle over there. And uh, I was crying like, a, crying like a baby. It was so, uh, so emotional to me because for so many years I had dreamed of wanting to come to Budapest. And I uh, never thought that I would have a chance because of uh, something called the, uh, the Cold War. And Budapest, unfortunately, was uh, Budapest hungry for that matter was on the, uh, the wrong side of the, of the Iron Curtain at the time. But I remember sitting there that night and it was like a, uh, it was like a dream come true. And then I ended up uh, moving to, moving to Budapest. I was on a train coming out of a small town called uh, Keshkameet, which is uh, south of Budapest. And I met a lovely, lovely Hungarian lady and uh, fell in love and ended up moving here. I spent, uh, spent three years, three years of my life living here in beautiful Budapest. actually had some friends come and visit me over the years when I was staying here. I had uh, three different occasions. I had three different friends come and, come and visit me. This is the, uh, you see up here, they have the Viking cruise ship. And you watch those TV commercials. They'll advertise for the, the cruise on the, on the Danube. And here is a uh, here's a Viking cruise ship. And interestingly enough, when you watch that uh, when you watch the uh, commercial for the Viking cruise, oftentimes they will have uh, the majority of the of the shots of what you, that what you know what they represent that you'll see on the cruise is actually uh, different angles of the skyline of Budapest. So. We're almost up to the uh, chain bridge. It actually looks like the uh, Viking cruise ship is actually taking uh, taking off, departing, headed uh, downriver. I would imagine. Not sure if it's downriver, if they're headed downriver or upriver. To be quite honest with you. So now we are coming up to the to the chain bridge and see if I can't find my way up to the uh, up to the beginning of the of the bridge you know having lived here in Budapest for as long as I did there is uh, having lived here in Budapest for as long as I did I filmed this uh, filmed this one wonderful city with videos and photographs and uh, 
lo and behold, they come out with something new called the Zion Crane. And uh, so I had to, had to come back now and maybe reshoot the whole, uh, reshoot the whole city. We will see. Sure that there will be those around the around the world that are from Budapest that will watch a video like this, and it'll be like it'll be like going home for them. Oftentimes, when I shoot a video, I want to give the the viewer, which in this case would be you, want to give you the uh, opportunity to experience just exactly what it would be like to be here walking the uh, walking the same path that I'm that I'm doing so so here we are at the at the chain bridge and the chain bridge is uh, it's iconic with the um, with the lions at the uh, it's got the lions at the at each uh, each corner of the of the bridge. If, if I understand correctly, they're symbolic of the lions are holding the holding the bridge onto the onto the shore. I could be mistaken. Now there's another bridge up here that I saw on the uh, on the news that they close off during the during the summertime for uh, street parties, if you will. So here we are on the on the chain bridge. Look at this. Just down there, you've got people enjoying a nice nice evening. Here is the, here's the lion, one of the lions. No shortage of people say taking, uh, Taking selfies. And there you have a uh, there you have your walk down the down the Danube between the, the Parliament and the uh, Parliament and the Chain Bridge. It's always interesting when you come to a place like this. You. Uh, you hear so many different dialects. There's a gentleman trying to get a nice, uh, nice picture here. All right. So I hope that uh, hope you enjoyed the the tour. Along the uh, the Danube, so it really is a uh, really is a great place to visit, and uh, I certainly hope that you have the opportunity to come and experience Budapest just as uh, just as I have. This uh, Zion Crane is just really really something else. I really really love it. So it's going to open up some uh, really great opportunities for me to bring you around the bring you around the world as I uh, as I travel travel about so with that uh, with that being said I will turn the uh, turn the camera back around and uh, give you a nice nice view you can see the Parliament building right down there. And there goes another other tour boat. So have a great uh, 
have a great day and uh, I hope you make it to Budapest one of these days.